as opposed to nothing, 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 nothing. Cram at the end! Hi, this is Keith Barker. I'm up in Eugene, Oregon. It's beautiful out here. And I'm up here for a trainer conference and I just got in about an hour ago. And I wanted to chat with you in this short video about three things. Number one, packing. Number two, artwork. And third, exercise. And compare how those three elements relate to success for you as you pursue a CCENT certification or CCNA routing switching with Cisco Systems. Let's take the first example and that is exercise. I'm in a little competition and I'm going to be measured here in like two days to see whether or not I got to 15% body fat or less. And that journey started for me about three months ago. And the idea is that to get that done, it takes some exercise and some eating right, but it's not something that can be rushed at the very last minute. Uh, that's not how it's done. It's done over months. So I've been doing it pretty consistently and I've been doing a great job. I'm feeling very comfortable about the weight and the body fat. However, Wednesday night, just like a few nights ago, I went to a play and we had a picnic before the play, a couple of my daughters, and I ate. I ate and ate and ate and I ate food that I knew wasn't great for me. And I thought, oh no, that one day, that one day. But I realized that if I had so many days before that, that were good, one day is not gonna derail the whole thing. So as you study for CCNA or CCENT, if you have a bad patch where you don't study quite often for a little bit, it's not gonna ruin the whole thing. It's just an opportunity to get up on, get back on the horse and continue to study. But the idea is consistency over time is what's gonna give us success. Okay, the second example I wanted to talk with you about as far as success with a CCNA or CCENT for you is artwork. I was talking to a graphics designer and artist and she said, yeah, you know with artwork, if we have a project with branding or campaign or whatever it is, you can't just wait. If the project is three weeks long, you can't just wait till the end and then put a whole bunch of stuff together and hope it works. That cramming at the end and not doing anything beforehand, that's a no-go. That's a loser. And the same thing is true for us as we study. As we identify that we want to get the certification and then we identify the topics of what we're going to study and we methodically spend some time every week, um, not, maybe not every day, but multiple days a week, studying chunks of information and, and reading, watching, getting hands-on, practicing. That's the strategy that's going to give us success is by doing it over a longer period of time consistently as opposed to nothing, 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 nothing. Cram at the end because that doesn't work very well. Okay, the third example that really drove this home was the Lyft driver. I got a right to the airport. Uh, I live in Las Vegas, so I, I called, I got Lyft, they showed up, and I got in the car, and uh, the Lyft driver said, how are you doing? And I said, ah, I'm a little bit harried right now. I just, I just packed, I wanna make sure I have all my stuff, going to this trainer conference, it's gonna be amazing. And she said, did you wait to the last minute? And I said, yes. And she kind of gave me a knowing look. And, and that rang true. At that moment, I thought, that's just like the CCNA. We don't want to wait to the last minute to study. We want to make sure we do consistent, easy, fun, engaging study that's effective and not wait to the last minute and rush, 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 rush. Because psychologically, it's not our best option. We're not at our best when we're cramming at the last minute. So the secret and the, the commonality between those three things, the exercise competition, the artwork, and packing at the last minute, is the fact that if we take a little more time up front, we have consistent plans, and then we follow through, we study, and we enjoy our process, we're gonna get the skills, which is the most important part, and as we come closer to the time to take that certification in CCENT or CCNA Route Switch, or whatever the certification you're going for, if you have the skills and you've practiced all the areas, your comfort level is going to increase as you go in not having to have crammed on that last day or that last week. So that's the message I want to share with you here from Eugene, Oregon and, and a customer service announcement safety tip. Give me really quick and that is this. If you're traveling like I am right now and you post something on social media in real time or near real time that lets everybody know that you're not here, you're there. If somebody is monitoring your social media with malicious intent regarding your property or something else, that may not be the best information to disclose to the world that you're not physically at your home. So one solution to that is if you are gonna post, you could just save that information and post it after you get back or 
If it doesn't matter, you have a security system or you're not worried about it, maybe it doesn't matter at all. But I did want to point that out as a small safety tip that could help you in the event that you're traveling and you just don't want the world to know that you're away from your property at that time. So I look forward to your success as you consistently study and build your skills in the world of Cisco for both CCENT and or CCNA route switch. And I'll see you, my friend, in the very next video.